I am the golden girl and today is the 28th of July. Well, it's been so long that I've actually made a video is because I didn't really have a lot of ideas. Plus, I actually made arrangements with someone that we'd be talking about, we'd, make, we'd be making our own video, but unfortunately, we didn't get into the whole thing. We've been busy, really busy. Anyways, um, since Ramadan is coming, I've been really excited. I am on fire, man. Anyways, I will be talking. The thing is, if I'm going to start talking about Ramadan, I will never shut up. Seriously, there's a lot to talk about. There's what exactly is Ramadan and why do we fast and how do we fast. So there's a lot of questions, but how I'll talk about Ramadan is I'll give you a link to a website I'm in. That is an amazing website because there's a lot of teenagers over there and luckily we're Muslims. So we are like so excited about Ramadan. We are posting so many things about Ramadan and we keep on posting. We're not even done with that. So I'll give you that link because basically you get to know what Ramadan is from that link. So hopefully you benefit. Anyways, um, first of all I'd like to say is since Ramadan has still not started yet. And I heard that Ramadan will be starting the 1st of August, according to whatever, but, well, whatever. Main point is that in case Ramadan started on Monday, before, we still have time until Monday. That is if Ramadan was um, on Monday. Basically, I'd like to say is first thing you should do is you should quit things like bad habits that you've got. Like, for example, if you're an addicted person, I suggest you start um, working on your addiction and trying to get rid of it. Um, if you're a kind of person who's, for example, addicted to drinking caffeine, like coffee or tea or something, I suggest you work on it from right now. My dad is really addicted to it, and therefore he started, he's already started uh, to reduce his uh, uh, tea, caffeine, caffeine intake at least a week before Ramadan. He started a long time ago. I mean a week ago. Yeah. At the beginning of this week, I think. Anyways, um, mainly you should quit um, habits. I've given you my dad's example because that's a pretty much easy example. But something serious that is quitting sins or quitting things, things that you really addicted to that you think are not really that good for you. Anime. Animes, that is the cartoon, Japanese cartoons. I love those. I watch a lot of them, but I watch the ones that are made for teenagers. Unfortunately... I didn't really feel quite good when I watched them. I don't know, spiritually I wasn't really feeling good. I felt like, gosh, I felt like something lacked or something. So I was like, you know what, um, since Ramadan is coming, I'm going to quit this habit of mine of watching those things. And I've, I've asked for Allah's help so many times. But now, I swear, it's like I open YouTube and I start typing down, I'm like, dude, I'm not in the mood. So I just shift into something else, like search about Ramadan or I search about uh, um, anything that has to do with Islam, you know. Or maybe funny videos or something, but I don't at all open anything that has to do with anime, and I think that's for Allah. And inshallah, I never open. Seriously, even a few minutes, a few an, like an hour ago, I got weak and I was like, okay, I miss those stuff, man. But alhamdulillah, I did not open it. I actually opened it. <laughs> videos about Ramadan, which is why I ended up making a video myself. Anyways, you should. The second thing you should do is getting good habits. That is, um. Try to get good habits to yourself, like, for example, start obeying your parents if you never obeyed them well before, um, start doing charity work, start paying for the poor, start whatever, you know, this kind of easy stuff that you can do, but at the same time, try getting used to it from right now, so that when it comes to Ramadan, you won't find it difficult. Good habits, like, for example, reading the Quran, if you never read the, if you don't read the Quran on a regular basis, start reading the Quran, five verses of the Quran every day, and then keep on increasing it until Ramadan comes, and inshallah, even if you're not a Muslim, inshallah, I mean, uh, you're not a, an Arab, inshallah, you'd be able to finish reading, recite, reciting the whole, the Holy Quran, alhamdulillah, inshallah, in the whole month of Ramadan, because there's a lot of reward to that, basically. What is Ramadan and what exactly do why do we Muslim fast in this month etc. This if I'm making those videos for teenage Muslims, so I am sure you know what what Ramadan is. You don't know as I said before. I'm gonna give you a link that inshallah would help you know what exactly is Ramadan. The fourth thing I talk about is what does fasting? What is it true? What is fasting? Seriously, okay, fasting is. Um, not eating from dawn until sunset. Yeah, okay, that's true. But that's not all, not, it's not all about fasting. If you fast like that, what's the point of fasting, man? Fasting is for you to avoid ang anger, getting angry, okay? Usually, for me, basically, when I get angry, I start saying values, unfortunately. 
So what what do I do? Well, nowadays I've tried my best to practice um um fasting in Sha in the month of Shaban. Plus, it actually have a reward for that. So I have started fasting a couple of days. Not now, like a, a week ago or something. So whenever my sisters got me pissed. Or whenever I got really angry, I was like, Allahumma nisaim, which means, Allahumma nisaim, which means, uh, I am fasting, which means I'm not gonna argue with you because I'm fasting. That's exactly what I meant by that. So, I avoid, I try my best, and you basically should try your best, because fasting is not just a, about you getting away from food and water. No, you also have to get away or avoid fighting, quarreling, cursing, lying, backbiting, slandering, ugh. Etc. The, the seriously, the list goes on. Ramadan is not just about you praying and and making du'a and and praying tarawih. Also, you have to fast and you fast well for goodness sake. There are a lot of hadiths and there are a lot of things that talk about Ramadan. I suggest you search yourself because I was so I was in doubt about so many things. And when I searched, I found that man, I learned more than I expected. I'm gonna learn. I learned a lot more than I expected. And I'm so happy for that, and alhamdulillah for that. Anyways, every time Ramadan comes, I am very excited because one of my goals is to be spiritually reborn. In other words, to get rid of my sins, to get um, to get to have new good habits, and uh, to get to know more, much more about my religion. I would like to mention something before I actually continue into uh, talking about women, menstruation, and Ramadan. What I want to talk about right now is I really hate the fact that whenever it's Ramadan, channels like NBC4, NBC3, none of those kind of channels, they 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 display a lot of um, series, Arabic series or series that are pointless. Man, it's pointless. Why the hell in Ramadan am I going to sit down watch a love series? Okay, it's repeated. Wallahi, I swear. Qasaman billah, I am swearing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that those series are repeated throughout the whole year after Ramadan. You want to make sure of that? Go check the NBC channel. Right now, they tell you it's available in Ramadan. But then, after Ramadan, it's available almost every month, man. They keep on repeating the same freaking series over and over again. And you just get like, what the heck? Now you wasted my time in Ramadan. Because this series is repeated a zillion times for the rest of the year. You are so eager to watch something. I suggest don't even sit on the television so that you don't even get tricked by these two people. I suggest to have an alternative. What I do is, it just pisses me off that, you know, there's a TV series that my sister was watching and I so want to watch it because obviously it looks so tempting. But I'm like, okay, seriously, I'm a Muslim. So my, I mean, I'm fasting. <laughs> I know I'm a Muslim. Anyways, um, so I talked to my other sisters, my other sisters who are more religious. What they do is they've got an alternative. They, instead of watching uh, or opening NBC4, they open... Um, religious channels like Iqra TV, like Al Risala, like Al Majd, you know those kind of those kind of uh, channels that only pass religious stuff. So at the end of Ramadan, you would get to know so much about your religion by just watching those shows. You might understand, but you might. I just suggest, I suggest you don't underestimate those um, shows because they are very beneficial. I swear, I feel like gosh, I know so much about the, my 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 religion I, as soon as I get to see those videos. I mean, this uh, show, I mean. Anyway, something else I'd like to talk about is women and menstruation. Some women take pills, and I hate it when you take pills. Dude, okay, now I'm 17. Why the hell am I going to ruin my body by taking pills? It's just, it doesn't make sense. Okay, I know right now I am really hyper. It's just that I have been awake from Fajr time, and I am seriously hyper. I haven't had much sleep, so yeah. Anyways, I just wanted to say that basically, for me... As a girl, I hate it when I have menstruation because I feel like, gosh, there's nothing for me to do. Yeah, what's the point of just sitting all day having menstruation? I don't, I can't even fast. I can't even pray. That is the wrong attitude, girl. Really, it is. And I so regret that I had those attitudes. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has written in my destiny that I will get my period at a specific time in Ramadan. Why on earth am I complaining about that? This is how I like it, okay? This is how my body is, and I'm not, I can't stop it, okay? If I take pills, I am sure, I'm not a biology expert, but I am sure that those pills somehow manipulate with your hormones so that somehow your menstruation is prevented, your, your, you prevent menstruation from, um, from getting menstruation in Ramadan, okay? So basically, I feel like it's bad for the body. I'm not a biology expert, but I am sure, especially if a 17-year-old takes such pills, 
it just pisses me off. The least thing you could do is just go to the doctor, ask a woman that is a doctor, or your mom if she's a doctor, or your mom's friend who is a doctor, someone who's a doctor, ask them. I'd like to take pills to prevent menstruation for this Ramadan because I am really looking forward to seriously obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all the time. For Ramadan, I mean. Okay, but talk to a doctor. Don't just go to the pharmacy and buy a, a bunch of medicines and say, okay, you know what that is, I'm going to take this medicine. What, who are you to, 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 to take a medicine like that? Okay, you're supposed to ask a doctor. And I suggest you don't even take it because you should accept your body. You should accept this fact that you're a woman and you get such kind of things in normal mind. And you can do all kinds of prayer, man. You can do a lot of things. You can't just sit all day not fasting and not praying. Okay, that's actually true. You can't fast and you can't pray and you cannot touch the Quran. But if you actually have doubt about that, I had doubt about it. And I searched on the internet and I got to know that eventually it is actually forbidden for a woman to touch the Quran because you are najisa. Najisa, which means dirty. Why are kuffar and people who are non Muslims are not allowed to touch Quran? And that is because they are dirty. They have to take a shower and then make the wudu and, ta and take Ramadan, uh, the, touch the Quran. And a proof of the story would be how Umar ibn, uh, Umar ibn Abi al-Khattab, wait a minute, Umar ibn al-Khattab, ibn Abi al-Khattab, oh gosh, I forgot his name, Umar ibn al-Khattab, yeah, what the hell, Umar ibn al-Khattab, he got to be a Muslim that way, okay, when he read Surah Yaseen, surat Yaseen how the hell did he read it, basically, yeah, he did take a shower and then he read it, so yeah, Anyways, there's a lot that you can do. You can make this dish, you can make thicker that it says subhanAllah like a hundred times. Say, say subhanAllah, uh, alhamdulillah, um, like a hundred times. You know, those kind of la ilaha illallah, uh, alhamdulillah, you know, those kind of tasbih, those kind of thicker that you can do. You can also get to know more about your religion since you can't read the Quran, you can't do anything. You can still listen to the Quran, man. Okay, you can still listen to the Quran. You can still make prayer, you can still make dua, I mean. Make dua like Allah, please forgive me. No, and you can do this kind of stuff even though you can't pray. You can still make dua, okay? You can still make dua. Um, um, another thing would be you can still listen to the Quran. You can still pray. Uh, that is make dua. You can you can do loads, okay? You can actually at least at that specific time where you have your menstruation, you can shift into reading books to get to know more about your religion. Anyways, there is a lot to talk about when it comes to Ramadan. But uh, what I want to say, lastly, because this video is going to take loads to, to actually load. Anyways, um, I suggest you can make use of this Ramadan. What I tell myself every time Ramadan comes, what I tell myself is exactly do your best for who knows it might be your last. And that's the truth. You don't know if you're actually going to be alive for, to witness the next Ramadan. So I suggest you make the best out of this Ramadan. And inshallah, inshallah, we all get Allah's mercy. And inshallah, our sins will be gone, basically. So we will be spiritually reborn, inshallah. I will give you the links in my uh, in the description or description, whatever it's called, description, I mean. Anyways, don't forget to su subscribe. Don't forget to rate. And don't forget, if you have an account, to comment on my video and last but not least if you have any ideas about what kind of videos you want me to talk to you about for the rest for the next few for the next videos inshallah I suggest you send me a message or something because I am seriously out of ideas man anyways um Ramadan Kareem and um see you next time inshallah